Hi, this is Larry from AeroShots. Welcome back to my two-part drone logbook uh, training video series. This is part two. We're going to cover some of the advanced features that you'll find on the drone logbook website. Okay, here we are back in the dashboard of drone logbook. We're going to record a flight. So we're going to click on the, the flight log icon here and open up our various flights. As you can see, you can uh, manually add an entry uh, add a flight from a log file or mass import flights. We're going to go ahead and show you how to import the flight log file. We click on this, many options available, and Drone Logbook keeps adding more different options or different file formats available. I'm going to use the 3D Robotics Telemetry Log. We select it, come on down here, find the file we want to, we want to uh, upload. Let me do this one here, and click and analyze the flight log. Uh, depending on your internet connection, how long your log file is, but after a few seconds or a minute, your log file will be analyzed. I'll come back with results. Here we have the results showing this analyzed uh, log, flight log. It gives you the date. All this information was pulled off that up uploaded log flight, uh, flight log. So we have the flight time, altitude, height, distance, voltages from the battery, the GPS trace. In this case, it picked up a location. If it doesn't know the location, you'll have to add a location, but this one it knew is Ridgecrest. And it gives you the uh, telemetry path, the flight path of your overflight and the altitudes that you were flying during your path. This all looks good. You can click on the button to add the new flight with these data and trace. And now you're back in here where you can modify a little bit. Start off, we're going to choose our pilot and you can add some other information in here, observer. Uh, flight details, if they're not right, you can change them. If it was a commercial flight, who your customer was. And uh, project, location. Uh, type of aircraft, make sure your, your right, correct drone's uh, selected there. Uh, date, time, the duration of your flight, what type of a flight this was. I'm going to make this one a hobby. And any equipment that was on board, uh, you get to select your equipment that you had. And come on down the number of landings and any uh, flight notes that you want to uh, add to the add to the flight log. And when you come down here, the weather condition, it'll automatically click on the button to get the weather data for that day and location. It's automatically going to go out and pull the weather data based on the GPS coordinates and the date time of your flight. Uh, you, have, you can do additional information. Uh, battery cycles, if you've charged your battery already after this, we can add it. We already picked up that it was battery one, date time, how long it took to charge, and what your ending voltage was after the, after the charge. In any of the notes, it's automatically populated the amount of uh, your pre-flight and the post-flight charge. Save it, and now you have another battery cycle that's been added to your uh, your maintenance records, and it'll be linked to this flight. If you have any incidents, you can add your incidents, and also any information on lost link that's reported. When you're happy with all your information, save it. Now this uploaded flight is now added to your flight logs. You can click on it and see all the information from that reported flight mostly populated from your analyzed flight log. Here we can also see that the battery's been added, the battery cycle's been added. An important step is your profile. We're going to click on the profile button up, button up here and in here you can uh, add on your email address, uh, information about yourself, and if you're um, an organization using one of the, the professional or the enterprise edition you want to be sure and go in here and inf enter all the information about your organization and you can also upgrade your logo which is going to be used on various reports and you can create and add documents uh, to your organizational history if you're an enterprise customer of drone logbook you have a couple of options to manage your personnel and customers. Let's take a look at our personnel list, which is all pe personnel within our organization uh, that will be used within Drone Logbook. There's two types of personnel listed. One is a person that actually has a seat, a purchase seat for Enterprise Edition. They can actually log into Drone Logbook, create flights, create missions, and use Drone Logbook. The other person is a delegated person, which they can be referenced and used in missions and documents and reports, but they actually cannot log in and use Drone Logbook themselves. The other option is for customers up here, and here you can maintain a list of your customers and these will also be used for your various missions and within your reports and all. 
We're going to delve into some of the more advanced features. First, we'll look here at the reports option. Click on the reports on the top menu, and you can see we have different compliance reporting, uh, custom operating reports, and inventory reports, and you can export your data. This is all depends whether you have the professional plan, the enterprise plan, or the standard plan. The standard plan will do some of these reports, but will limit it to only five entries. A pro plan doesn't have quite all the options. Of course, the enterprise plan has all of them. Let's go ahead and run a little FAA uh, report here. Well, look, you can see we have FAA, CAA, CASA, Hong Kong, different different report reporting authorities. And uh, Drone Logbook is adding more constantly, so keep an eye out. They'll have more reporting options available soon. Uh, we pick our dates from to create the report. And we're going to go ahead and open it up so we can view it instead of saving it. And it creates a PDF file. And the PDF file is suitable for submitting uh, for F FAA compliance. Uh, with your company name, address, and history of your flights from those that date. And a custom operating report. We'll also create a PDF of very information. Let's go create a, a custom operating report of, um, of everything and uh, just for the solo. And I'm going to create that report and take a look at it real quick. Same thing, I'll open up so we can view it instead of saving this PDF. And here's our operations report with our flights for the period, 160 flights, six maintenance incidents, total, uh, total time. And then during the period, it's more information again of our flights, the incidents, our battery log file that we have now during that, those, that reporting period, and uh, some maintenance that was performed during this reporting period. Uh, custom inventory, you can also report on your inventory. We'll create an inventory report real quick here and open it up. And it's pretty much going to tell us our equipment, serial numbers, things of that nature that we have for our equipment. So we have cr more custom reports. And of course, we can export our flight data as a CSV. For enterprise customers of Drone Logbook, one of the great features is to plan upcoming missions. I'm going to go ahead and plan a mission here, but I'm going to speed this up to save some time. Basically, click on the Plan Mission button and start entering all the information on your upcoming mission. When finished with the basics of planning your mission, go ahead and save your mission, and now you'll be able to designate and specify your flight area. Uh, I like to look at the satellite map area, and here's the solar panels that I'll be doing a survey on. You have various options at the top to, to annotate it. I'm going to choose the polygon and draw a square around the different solar panel arrays that I know I'll be doing a survey on. I have to do this for each area, click on different uh, polygon, and create the four different areas I, that I wish to survey. This now define the area that I will be doing my mission at. You can also add annotations to your area by clicking on the push button here and uh, clicking on where you want it and adding a, a note to that push pin. I'll do this for each of the different four solar arrays that I'll be doing a survey on. When finished defining and editing your flight area, make sure you go ahead and save it and then close it out. That'll return you back to your planned mission. But we're not done yet. We can now add some uh, flight documents and some checklists to our, our planned mission. Clicking on the uh, add documents, we have a couple of documents we're going to add here. We're going to go ahead and add a, uh, a release of authorization for the property representative and fill this in. I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up while this gets filled in for us. If you're doing this in the field and you have a touch screen tablet, you can also have the, your representative sign 
uh, the document there on site. Otherwise, you can also pre-print the document out ahead of time after it's filled in and take the printed form to them for their signature. So once your authorization of the document's filled out, we'll save it. And you'll see now on your pre-planned mission that you have this document is now attached to this mission coming up. A drone logbook also provides a couple other pre-printed uh, documents for photo authorizations and a pre-planning form. And additional documents are coming soon from drone logbook. Now that those documents have been added, I'm going to go in and add a checklist. This is a checklist that I pre-designed earlier in my documents option of the drone logbook. And we're going to speed this up, but this is done on site. I'm going to go ahead and uh, complete my checklist. Another nice feature on Drone Logbook is the ability to add your own documents. These can be JPEG uh, files, graphics, uh, Word documents, PDF files that you upload to, uh, to the website. Here we're going to go ahead and create our own little file here, an insurance document, and upload it to Drone Logbook and attach it to our planned mission. Once your document's been added to Drone Logbook and it's now added to your mission, you have various options to print it or um, view it online. Now that our upcoming mission has been planned, we can see that all of our indicative data for that mission is there. If you go to your dashboard, it doesn't show up as a la latest flight. However, you go to your planned mission, it does show as an upcoming mission. And clicking on that mission will give you all of that information, including the when, where, how, all the attached documents, and the location that you'll be needing for that upcoming mission. After you've conducted your mission that you planned ahead of time, you return to Drone Logbook and go into your planned mission tab. And now you can see that your planned mission has already happened and it's waiting for you to complete it up. Let's complete the mission here. And it opens up. You're going to verify the information. That has all happened exactly as, as, as planned. I'll uh, go ahead and get some weather for that day. And we're going to go ahead and upload the flight log now. So we'll add info from the flight log here. Choose your log file type. You have a choice of many options, and Drone Logbook keeps adding more options. And we're going to use a, a T log, a telemetry log. Uh, let's get the right one here. And upload that flight. Drone Logbook analyzes your flight, it comes back and will fill in the information or correct the information on your planned mission with the actual flight log. It now has the, the, the flight time, the speeds, your altitudes, battery voltages, and the telemetry of your mission. If all looks right, update that flight log, uh, update your flight with that log, and now you have an updated flight mission completed with all the information including telemetry. Now let's get the weather because we changed the date there. So now we have the current weather. Uh, we also add a battery cycle because we, we charge these batteries up. Let's uh, put something in here. Now I used all five batteries on this mission. So we'd have to go do this for all five times for each, for each battery. And it'll show up in, in, your draw, in your log file also. Luckily we had no incidents during this one. And there was no lost link events either. So we go ahead and save this information. So the mission that we previously planned is now a completed mission and shows up in our completed flight logs. We can edit, add, change uh, at documents, and add media just like any other completed flight log. Uh, here we see the completed flight log, including our attachments of the battery cycles, uh, the documents attached uh, to the mission. If we wish, we can also add media, which would be photographs or uh, YouTube videos or other videos, posted videos, and attach them to our flight log, just as we can with any other previously logged flight. 
that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed these uh, training videos on Drone Logbook and enjoy the, enjoy the Drone Logbook website as much as I have. Happy and safe flying!